Hello, it's Tuesday, April the 6th, and uh, we are looking together at the prophet uh, Isaiah, and we're in chapter 3 today, and verses 8 through 15. Yesterday we saw in the opening seven verses uh, a depiction of what happens to society uh, when God, as it were, loosens the reins uh, of his common grace, and what happens is it disintegrates and it falls apart and is at war uh, with itself. Well, verses 8 through 15 tell us the cause uh, of that disintegration. And you see in verse 8, for Jerusalem, uh, for Jerusalem has stumbled and Judah has fallen because their speech and their deeds are against the Lord, defying his glorious presence. Their speech, their tongue, uh, the words uh, that they use, as well as their actions, are in defiance of the Lord. In verse 9, he likens them, shockingly, this is Judah and, Jer and Jerusalem, he likens them to Sodom uh, and their sin, and they don't um, attempt to disguise it. They are flagrant uh, in their disobedience uh, of the Lord. In verse 14, uh, injustice and greed and exploitation. Uh, in verse uh, 14 again, God comes to judgment. The Lord will enter into judgment with the elders and princes of the people. It is you who have devoured the vineyard. The spoil of the poor is in your houses. Well, everyone is looking after themselves. That's the theme here, and that's the cause for the disintegration. It is the sin that lies in the heart, even of God's people, God's covenant people. Uh, as we saw recently in the 50th Psalm that we were looking at on uh, a recent uh, Sunday morning, uh, you thought, the psalmist says, and actually it's God speaking in the psalm, uh, you thought that I was like uh, yourself. Uh, man uh, making God uh, after his own image, and that's idolatry. It's what Paul talks about in the opening chapter of Romans, that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. And uh, judgment, judgment is coming, and eventually Jerusalem uh, will be taken into uh, captivity, uh, not by the Assyrians, but by the Babylonians, and that's 150 years into Isaiah's future. Uh, God is a judge. Uh, he is righteous. He is altogether righteous, and uh, he is uh, examining um, the hearts of his people, and he's finding them wanting. Well, that's the dark message of this section of Isaiah chapter 3, verses 8 through 15, and we'll see some more tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.